drink some more milk. Fantastic. So we've taken Demidi. That consolidates our hold in the desert. They're gone, of course. Now, what do I do with Demidi? I could subjugate. I get a bit of unit replenishment by doing that. I could sack. Which would give me some money. I could raise. I haven't raised the settlement yet. That could be a nice feature. Our fertility will deteriorate for three turns. We do get some money. Minus two. We don't want that minus 20, do we? That minus two is integrity penalty. I think we're going to raise the media to the ground. We have to fight fire with fire. Let's do it. We're raising the media. Holy crap. Boom. That was fantastic. It's actually nice to see that it, it may... Recording didn't take much of a performance from doing that. Game has been saved as well. And there we have it. So we've done that. We want to get back into our settlement. They're going to be attacking us now at Constantina. Unfortunately, we have a full stack to, to deal with. But we've taken a settlement from them and wiped it out and got some money for it. So I'm happy enough with that. We can't... Oh, we can actually get some mercenaries now because we've got a bit more money. I'm going to use that money elsewhere because this battle down here... It's not the end of the world if we do lose stuff in Africa, to be honest. If I'm being totally honest, I mean, we have a lot more stuff to worry about in Rome and, and etc. So let's go to our forces. Unless, oh, we actually leveled up as well, which I didn't see that. So let's do the leveling up. So here we go, general details, general's leveled up. And where are we by, where do we get the, oh, skills, is it? Yes, looks like it. It's pretty cool. So we've got two by here. So let's go to Legatus. So we get the integrity plus two plus one authority, and then we've got cannon, um, many defenses plus three, commanded force. That would be good. Sentinel, we we'll get sentinel skill all done right. So let's have a quick look. So Flavius Honorius is in Britain, and he's going to be holding Eboracum. Quintus Simacus with the third legion is just just won that battle there. Hilarius is up here, and he's actually besieging the settlement. Flavius Neoterius is just holding on here in Spain. Minus two province stability. But we are building an auditorium which will help public order. So Galatia at least will be held. So that's Brigantium, Asterica and Bracara. So these three by here would be safe. We need to get a hold on the rest of Spain because we are losing lots here. It's going to be quite difficult to hold on to all of this, to be honest. So much so much we're going to lose. It's going to be bloody hard, this is. But I think we should be okay. And then Flavius Uter... Oh, my God. Uterchianus is holding on here. Flavius Stilicho is attacking. Ancius Sura is on his way back. And then Faustus Paulus has been recruited in Colchester. So that's happy. We are happy with that. And I think all our factions, we can't really do anything with them. They all hate us, don't they? Pretty much, I think. Minus improving, so the Marcomans are improving. That could be pretty useful, I think. This let's try and get something with them then, if possible. I don't, I doubt something will happen. No, it won't. We're not going to get any diplomacy, so we may as well just forget that for now. And finally, we have another end turn. Let's click end turn and see what happens. Oh, what's this? Force is dangerously low integrity. Oh, this is the one over here. Okay, so what do we need to do with low integrity? Low integrity. At the current rate, there will be a mutiny in four turns. Oh, I see. That's cool. That's a nice feature. If I decimate Harvey's by destroying ten percent of the current army, oh my god, there's barely an army there. Although ten percent of a low number is not too bad. Let's do it. Decimate ordered. So that would help out. Our public, our public order, our force order, I should say. The Vandals, oh, you're not attacking me, please say, ah, ya bugger, ya bugger, ya bugger. The Vandals are attacking us with a mighty fine army. What do they have? They have Germanic levies, Germanic bands, Alani horsemen, lots of, oh my god, they have lots of cavalry and bows. We don't have, mm, oh, we may have a chance against these. We have got a reinforcing army as well. 
Plus we are at full strength with this army. Let's fight them. Let's fight. I'm just happy that the other enemy didn't join. I could lose two legions in this battle. That would be terrible. I feel like with this campaign and with this faction, you have to be drunk to play. Um, I may have to do that at some point because it's one of those things where it's basically... I mean, there's going to be people on YouTube that are going to be able to do this. My bet would be Legend of Total War. But, you know, no, what I mean by doing this is actually being positive and winning these battles and winning this campaign and, and not, ba you know, barely taking losses like I have. And do you know what I mean? It's it's so, it's so hard, this campaign. <laughs> I really, I, I wouldn't say I underestimated it because I, I knew from the start it was going to be, it was going to be a fantastic campaign, but it's going to be, very unlikely that we get anything out of it. Let's get all of these together. So it's the same sort of thing again. Start the battle. Right, they're all there. Our reinforcements are going to be coming from somewhere. Where are they? Where are you guys? Oh, please tell me they come onto the battlefield. I don't want to be have them glitching. Oh, they are coming. Where are they? Behind me, that's okay. Just get them into the field then. Once they all get on, yeah. There we go. They're all on here. Let's get them. Behind this line. That's your job. Now. Missiles are behind. They have lots of cavalry. We could be... We could try something here, which I don't usually do. But I'm doing this on purpose to not get flanked. I'm going to be fighting defensively. Don't usually try stuff like this, but I'm going to try it in this battle. We're going to fight like Hannibal. <laughs> I'm lying. I'm not, I'm, no way can you compare me to Hannibal. He's too good. I'm nowhere near his level of skill. Germanic bows. Oh, I'm looking at a good chance. They are nobles. Although a charge on them, if they're exposed, would be certainly beneficial. Let's take the cavalry up there in that case. But we're just going to walk them. No point overexerting ourselves. The rest of my men are gradually approaching. They're going to be in the rear. I do have actually, I actually got cavalry on this flank as well. Let's use them. Let's take them to the right flank. I forgot I had that cavalry unit there. Oh, actually it was part of these, wasn't it? They just got there quicker. There's a chance to get a dual charge on the general. I'm going to take that opportunity once I get get that opportunity. Hold them in the centre. Dual charge the calves. Let's group up these cavalry units in that case. So we can get on the same page. Just get behind that line. And we're going to be double clicking and dual charging at any moment. They're going to be flanking with cavalry there. That's fine. Let's get this unit slightly nearer. Right, this is fine. You three need to get up there quickly. We do have heavy melee and some spear, so we are hoping to utilize them. Hopefully we got enough to take on the cavalry like that. Shite man, get out of there. Shit, I didn't see the cavalry there. Bollocks, 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 and more bollocks. They are so good in this uh, campaign, aren't they? The way the AI acts is much better than previous games in the franchise. I've actually lost their general. No, I haven't. He's there. Perfect. Don't mind chasing, sacrificing that unit for the two cav. Forget those horses. They're done for. Defensive test, do those. Charge. Support the line. You two as well. We're going to push forward. And this cavalry unit is actually going to go for the bows. We've lost the cavalry. That's fine. It's not a problem. This isn't going too badly so far, I don't think. Oh, we're routing them. Hell yeah. We're getting back in the game. We're getting back in the game. We're clawing for our lives right now. Sending all of these guys back. Oh, veer around that general. 
I've pushed lots of bows back. And we're actually going to counter strike. We're going to go straight for the Germanic band that's confident and steady. And now they're shaken. Forget the bows. Don't forget the bows. Just go for them. Push forward. I'm serious. Charge. You need to keep charging, guys. Just attack them and charge them wherever possible. We've done pretty well. We've done had a much, much better idea of what we wanted to do. Get that cavalry unit onto this one. Thing is, I've I've dilly dallied enough with their cavalry now to to push them on. Let's get these guys attacking their general. Same with you. And now, basically, my line. What's left of my line, I should say. We should probably try to form up somehow. Oh my god. They're sending their cavalry in now. Need to support them. Let's get up there quickly. We're going to be charging everything towards them like so. Alright, this is fine so far. We might have to lose this cavalry unit, but we're holding up their cavalry and we're not doing much damage, are we? That's shocking. We are doing very well. We are doing pretty damn well, in my opinion. They don't have much infantry left. They don't have much left at all. We've got enough to get this unit of heavy melee onto the cav now. And we're actually going to be pushing the general back. Who's shaking now, taking lots and lots of losses, the general. Now we're pushing on to the general. We're going to push everything towards him. These guys are going to be wiped out. I'm going to wipe them out. If at all possible. My general needs to get involved on the cav. I don't want any units stay, staying still. They are... Fuck. How is that possible? Make sure they've got men chasing them in all directions. We should have enough. Come on, men. Don't stand. War cry the cav. This is good so far. Unfortunately, we're not going to be probably chased down. Well, we can get these though. These Germanic bows, I think. I want to kill their general. I need to kill their general. Victory. Come on, let's get victories in this campaign. Let's get the victories we need. Wipe out the horsemen. Wipe out those Alani horsemen. Click like a madman and hopefully wipe out the horses. Look at them, they've only got 59. they got 59 out of the 60 remaining. That's bloody difficult. Bloody impossible. But with their general routed, you would, in fact, hope that that would be it. We're all merging upon the horsemen here. Let's try and get some kind of thing going here. It's one unit of horsemen against lots and lots of my men. I'm repositioning the spearmen. And they are shaken now. Let's chase. Chase and kill. This unit's wavering as well. We are chasing them off. This is where I needed my cavalry actually because I could have run these guys down by this point. There were some mistakes made. Their general is shattered. Horses are broken. These two units need to... Oh, we got the victory. Hell yeah. We've done it. We've actually done it, guys. That is fantastic, isn't it? Let's end the battle there. A, a Pyrrhic victory. We've got two more achievements. Two formation and raw recruit. So we'll end the battle there. Oh, oh this campaign is just so insane. Done very well, then. Deserve a pat on the back. We we'll probably won't take the settlement now, though. Pyrrhic victory. We've lost quite a lot of men, actually. Our reinforcements had the better of it, by the looks of things. Ransom and release. Take on warriors. Oh, that would be useful. Take on warriors. I'm going to do that. I need to get more men, see. The game just auto saved then, as well. Nice little feature to see it actually come up on the screen. It didn't used to on past Total War games. 
Eastern Roman Empire, the Ebdanians. Oh, you, you don't. Don't you dare. <laughs> Last thing I need is you guys coming over and causing problems. And oh my goodness. They have actually decided to come out and attack us, which I can't. I can't fight them like this. So let's retreat. retreat. Tactical retreat by the Alamans. There we go. And the Gaetulians. Uh, we knew this was going to happen, didn't, didn't we? I have lots and lots of cavalry. They have artillery as well. Ooh, this is going to be hard. But we're going to fight this one as well. We're going to probably lose this one. Four units against a full stack. That has complete and utter cavalry dominance. They don't have much in the way of infantry though. So, who knows. If we can hold them off. They're not going to have much armor, are they? So, the towers should probably do extra damage. And hopefully we can win this. I mean, well, <laughs> I say hopefully we can win this. I mean, that's insane when you look at the, the odds and what we have. But it, it is probably possible. We just need to try and get them into position where they can't really do much damage. They're going to be going for the capture point, of course. So we need to try and hold that for as long as humanly possible. We can actually see where they formed as well, which is good. And we're actually in the fog, which I don't like. Now, the capture point is in here in the center. They're going to be coming from down there and there. We want to stop them by putting a where can we put the barricade if we put the barricade this side cavalry is going to be deploying what they have desert levies bowmen and camel warriors desert spears they're going to cause problems we're going to be on the right flank in that case with the cav Oh, actually, the right flank has lots more men. <laughs> we want to get our honor get off them, don't we? We will keep the cavalry on this right flank in that case. They can go up and try and attack them there. Heavy spearmen. Put them there. Just get my men here to start this battle. And then get my cavalry out. We're going to be attacking... That mercenary Onager. You can barely see the battlefield because of the the fog. I need the towers to do damage. I need the towers to do lots of damage. That is the aim. We knew this was going to happen when we declared war on them. Heavily outnumbered. Right, let's go for a charge. Oh, they counter charge in. Skirmishers. Oh, we can take on skirmishers. Counter charge. We've got 60 men in our... We're only light melee cavalry against skirmishers. They're sending more cavalry. More desert mounted skirmishers. Let's go and look at the charge. They are taking losses, of course, because of that tower. And we've got a decent charge. Well, not the best of charges, but it will do for now. Okay, that that's that there. Now, let's see what they're doing here. They are actually bringing desert raiders forward. Let's hold the center. Oh, sh I didn't think they'd actually break through into my rank there. It's okay for now. The towers will get me in range from there. We should be able to break some of these cavalry units. Go for a defensive test too, though. Don't want to be too defensive, though. Let's check out the cav. Cavalry being taken on by lots of cavalry. The aim was to take on the honor guy. I can't do that, though. Not much to do there. This cavalry unit shaken has gone around the back. First job done. They are actually... Well, they were taking that capture point. They're not now. Let's get you attacking those desert raiders. And then the heavy melee can sit where they are right now in that doorway there. They are taking the tower over there. They're going to be taking some losses to these towers. But unfortunately, they are going to be trying to capture all these towers. And I've lost my cavalry, so no point worrying about that over there. And they are coming back with the Desert Raiders. Which means we need to be on our toes here and actually drag ourselves around that flank. We can't get attacked on the right flank at the moment. Or we could do, but they're a long way away. We pushed back one of these camel. And the general is actually against my general. It would be good if we could take him out. But he's barely taken any losses. One loss compared to loads with mine. I don't want to be running out and attacking those desert camels. But I don't want to leave that 
capture point open. This is the problem I have at the moment. This is probably... Oh, this is going to be awkward. We're going to attack them anyway. A tower's been destroyed. Take on that general. Come on, man. We can do it if you B&Q it. We're going to take out the Desert Raiders at least. Or at least we should do. And then, how are we doing over here? Lots and lots of cav. Look at all these arrows flying all over the place. Absolutely insane. Unfortunately, these arrows are going to be from their towers now, so... That's a bit unfortunate. And now, let's bring this unit back. We have broken this Desert Raider unit, and we can actually try and take on these Camel Warriors that are running around. We'll intercept them. We're going to go for a charge. Camel Warriors versus Heavy Melee Infantry. Oh, and they've just crushed lots of us in that charge. Wasn't very good for us, was it? Wasn't very good at all. 105 out of 220. Oh, this is terrible. Defensive Testudo. Take on the Desert Levy. Cohors. Down to 62, 58, 57, 56. Oh, they're getting wiped out. That is not good for us at all. No. 46. 72. We're going to lose. Well, obviously we're going to lose. Oh, my God. They're burning my settlement. You absolute pricks. The funniest part about this is... There we go. We'll end the battle there. The funniest part about them burning that is they've got no homeland at the moment. So I don't know whether they become a nomad faction automatically. I'm not quite sure what happens. But yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens now. But that was quite funny how that worked out. Decisive defeat. We took out some, well, not the best, I suppose. But we took some of them out at least. And... Yeah, they haven't taken Constantine. They're just going to run off. And the Garamantians. Oh, why, why, why? They have declared war on me. And they were in my good books, weren't they? So that's just a piss take. Oh, man. Why? Why would you do such a thing to me? So many factions hate me. It's unbelievable. You need to start off as a small faction and just consolidate one portion of the map, I think. And rebuild from there. I think that's how you got to play this campaign. And we've been attacked here. And we have barely anything. Well, we have eight units. But one of them is completely decimated. Oh, it's possible. But we're going to have to be very... We could retreat once more. Retreat. Keep pulling back. Oh, shit. Will they attack me? They can't reach me. Good. Settlement's been sacked in Constantina. Right, Rallion imminent. And there we have it, guys. So, I'm going to end this episode here. It's been a fantastic episode yet again. I've really enjoyed this campaign. It's such a such a very difficult challenge. And it feels like any move that I make is going to come up wrong. It's been... It's keeping me fit. It's keeping me on my toes. And it's been a fantastic first two episodes so far so thank you for your support in this series thank you for watching my videos it really means a lot to me if you did enjoy it would, it would definitely mean a lot to me if you could leave a like and yeah that's pretty much it so i've been dragonheart the prince of wales thank you for watching until next time goodbye